Hi guys, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Last episode, we uh, worked on a bit on the wall, which I'm going to show, and uh, I did a bit of off-camera off building of it, because it's kind of boring, just watching me place block after block. But, uh, Silver, what are you doing here? Nothing to report, sir. The prisoners have been put to work building the wall. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. I guess you're... What the heck? Tommy, what are you doing out? I, I literally never took you out. But you know what? Screw it. You're coming with me. You're coming out on the job. Wasn't intending that this ah. happened, but screw it. Life's full of unexpected events. Alright. Let's just book our way through the village. Yeah, teleporting. Fun times. Alright, well... Today is actually, ironically, uh, Sparky. I'm getting distracted. Today we're going to be working on a bit of a unique project. And, well, two projects in one. But, uh, Sparky, what you doing there with a lot of books? Uh, hello, Pukutins. What may I help you with? Uh, just checking to see how things went last night. Also seeing what you're uh, doing with all those books. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, no, there. This is. Yeah, no. You were moving your people uh, to safety. Oh well, everyone has been moved safely, and there were no major issues, of course. That leads into the books. Well, when my trade came to the servers, they were impressed with the buildings and structures, and wished to make their own new, uh, make their new home, just as grand and impressive, but they lacked the information to do so. Hence, I offered to go and find some books to help them. Fair enough. I can't wait to show you when it the time is right. But for now, you will have to wait. Better get back to reading. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, I guess that explains the books. You're reading architectural stuff. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's check in with, uh, Moby real quick. See what, uh, headway he's made with these, uh... Hello, Pukutins. I'm guessing you're here for an update. Well, I'm. Well, you're in. Uh, you're in luck. I think I found out what the ring is. All right. What is it? Just spit it out, man. Uh, I don't need a suspense. I already fumbled things earlier with my wording of things. It's called the fusion ring. It has some. It has some quite a variety of abilities. If the legend. And speculation are true. Definitely glad we never tried to use any of these before we did some research. Uh, why is that? The is the ring dangerous? Yes and no. It's complicated to say the least. The ring has not just one use. And it, in the right circumstances, it could be dangerous. But some of its more out there abilities are true. For example... One of its abilities that people have claimed it has is the ability to fuse two people together to make a brand new person. However, I don't know... Ugh, I don't... Ugh, this trait is true. Uh, another trait is the ability to repair objects perfectly, as if it was never damaged at all. And there are too many to go into, but without testing, we have no way of knowing what's true and what's false. I guess. Fair enough. Uh, I guess, yeah. Without testing this thing, there's no real way to know for sure. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave you be then. Come on, Tommy. Please, don't be like the real Tommy in it. You're supposed to be a, just a weird reference. You know what? Screw it. You want to stay here? You get to stay here now. Bada bing, bada boom. Probably for the best. Hmm. Boop a doop a doo. All right. Well, let's get into our location we need to be. Which, uh, yeah. Let's just head this way. Because I think people's stuff is just coming together rather nicely. I don't really have much to say if I'm being honest. Uh, oh, I guess I just passed by people unintentionally. Uh, 
Not going to lie, I almost fainted when I saw the pillagers while delivering food. Well, they're not really going to be much trouble. Not even armed, but apparently there are people here. Tomorrow my seamstress shop will be open and I'm so excited. Finally, I'm done smithing for a little bit. I can relax and see the town. Oh, that's good to hear, Ignis. I like that you changed the uh, glass. It's nice and pretty. It looks like you got some product in there. Yeah. Oh, I really do need a banner for our village. To signify it. Maybe I'll get our resident seamstress to make us one. But, uh, let's go. We're going out here. So the current plan is to uh, bring out the road a bit to here. Build another gate. And today we're going to work on building the uh, bridge. We'll talk to these guys shortly. But the plan is, I use some dirt to sort of roughly uh, surmise. Oh, oh, little lag spike. Lag spike, please, please calm down. That was a lag spike. The price I pay for having so many mods. But I basically made a dirt pillar out to this way. Just to give us an idea of what needs to be flattened out. Like, stuff here needs to be moved aside. Just so I can make a level bridge. Why am I struggling? I'm struggling to speak. Speaking is so hard. Me so not so smart. Yeesh. But, uh, I guess the pillagers are hard at work. Stop whining before I make you, she growls. Uh... This sucks. I hate this job. This is far from the worst thing that could happen. We're still alive. Yeah, I guess one of you has a pretty bright perspective on it. You're not wrong. Don't even think of running away. Fair enough. Your break will be shortly, so keep it at it. Okay. You guys are really putting on the tough person act. Hello, sir. We've been making good progress, and Bill kindly brought us food. Uh, food, uh, food, uh, food for us and the prisoners. We'll be taking a break soon to eat. It's looking good. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. He seems to be happy for the acknowledgement. Anyways, what are you working on today? You're usually up to something. Working on a bridge and a new mine for the village. Fair enough. Never still, are you? Well, I'm about to start the break soon, so we'll be out of your way. Fair enough. So, that actually gets into what we're doing today. Transforming this into a proper mine. Because the old town mine is kind of uh, inefficient for what we need. And, uh, yeah. Hello, George. Hey, Pukachans. Thought I would check in and see if you need any hand with anything, since Sparky's busy again. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah. I expanded the wall from where we had it last, uh, last episode, and, uh, not gonna lie, kinda like how it turned out. It's not perfect, and I'm gonna have to do some... Oh! Good thing I don't have items on me, but still, that's, that's an insta-death drop. I also added some, uh, nice little sewer, or not, water drains, just to add some character to the place. And they do actually connect on the other side, but we'll just have to go around very carefully... I really should put more fences around this, but, uh, yeah. Again, I might add some trees or some foliage, or maybe just some vines to make it look a bit more appealing and visually distinct. Because there was a tree here, but it was in the way. And, uh, as you can see, just nice little drain areas. Like the very, like, most tucked-in corners. And, uh, I really like how these turned out, honestly. They don't stick out too much, but they still add some texture. Which is much needed on this build. And I believe there's like a second one here much closer to the ground. And yeah, you can just see. Bada bing, bada boom. Small little pipe area. It's mostly for aesthetics. And also, you know, it's a good time. But uh, yeah. I'm probably going to keep that how it is. But uh, so far I'm starting to grow on the uh, tower design there. I do know for a fact I'm going to do something drastically different for the towers over here. Because this is going to be a much larger gate over on this side and the bridge itself is going to be a bit larger and yeah it's just going to be a bit bigger and a more proper entrance that was a test one if you will my uh shall we say baby's first attempts at a proper gate because yeah i think like right around here i'll extend it a bit more 
and then begin a, building a gate. That's the plan anyways. But for today, we're just going to focus on a bridge, a pathway, and uh, the mine itself. So, yeah. With that being said, I believe we're just going to hop into it. Bop! And we're done. Now it's time to show you the finished product. And honestly, I kind of like how it turned out. There's a lot of things I'm going to improve over time and do little things. And I'm just going to show you when they're like actually implemented in a significant amount. Because this is just a framework, basically. Because I do plan to decorate and add furnaces and other stuff and yada yada yada. But this is just a basic idea. The inspiration for this particular build, which as I go down to show you. Uh, hello, George. Almost done with the things here. You should be good by the end of the day. All right. Kind of rushed that. I don't know why I went fast. But uh, yeah, this water wheel is just designed for what eventually will be implemented, a proper mineshaft elevator. Because, yeah, coming up all the ladders is kind of boring. But, uh, yeah, right now the mechanism does, isn't working because it's currently disengaged. But the idea is I can flitch this switch and the elevator will go down. And you can also flick it up and bada bing bada boom, it will haul it back up. But because the clutch is engaged, it will not do anything and will stay where it currently is. But, yeah, there's just a basic way down all the way into the mine in a physical way. But the inspiration, as I was saying before I got distracted was the uh, Goblin Kingdom from the uh, Tolkien's, well, not, yes and no Tolkien's, the movies. Basically the Goblin Town, where the Goblin King was living. And I kind of wanted a similar feel, but different. And I honestly think I've achieved it. I do plan to add stuff like chains with lanterns hanging down, but that's just tedious work that I can't bring myself to do right now, and I probably will have to do later. But honestly, yeah, it kind of turned out really well, I think. And at nighttime, it is absolutely stellar. This little mine shaft started up for the villagers to go and start their digging and looking for resources. The only reason there isn't uh, planks here, I don't know if you can hear it. Yep, you can. Uh, there's lava nearby here. And uh, if planks are too close, they set on fire, even though there's like no direct contact. And that would burn everything else down. So I'm going to have to drain that eventually. Which is going to be a pain in my, you know, rear end. But, uh, yeah. Basically, I really like how this came. And, like, the views and the angles. And just... It's going to even get better with time. I think I might add eventually, just for a more artistic look. Like, a conveyor belt that shows, like, sh moving oars across. And, like, rock and other stuff. Just for the visual aesthetic. I don't know. We might do that. We might not. Depends on how ambitious I feel. But, uh, yeah. Eventually this place will have furnaces and the chests will be put around. It will just... It will look more natural. This was just supposed to be a sort of framework for future me to mess around with. Whenever I need to procrastinate making a video. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of different, like, heights and levels. And I wanted it to have just... Not to feel uniform is the word, I think. And I really like how that comes across and just like the beams across it. And just, it just works. And I really like how this build came together. Especially with the, just the vanilla oak wood and just the vanilla nature of it all. But it's not all uh, mine shafts down in what I've been working on. And this little, uh, well not time skip, but kind of. I've been working on a bridge. Because there was a giant gap between... Uh, you know, the, our biomes from the one I want to build the gate at. And you probably saw, sort of, from uh, when I came through. So let's just get up here. Now we can talk to everybody who's over in that area. And yeah. Long story short, I really like how uh, this... Um, I think it's... I can't even remember what mod, but... Uh, what is it called? Just a sec. It's going to bug me if I don't figure it out real quick. Yeah, the chipped mod. It has some, several redstone lamp uh, designs, and I, I like how that one works. It just fits perfectly. If you're curious what's here, just mostly my crap from building this stuff. I also, I'm getting sidetracked, but I don't give a damn, have been working on uh, this. 
which is basically just carving out the path, finishing it off from this area, since it's kind of like, you know, finished. Again, I, I really hope that this, I might build some more farmhouses, if I'm being honest, around this area, but that's just to complete the look. I want it to, you know, feel like this is the farm area where people have their little family farms and yada yada. But uh, let's go over here real quick. Because we got a lot to show off. I also planted a couple trees around here just to make it feel more natural. Considering I had to cut down some trees uh, when I was building the wall. And I honestly kind of missed that. Again, I would plant them, but they're just at the edge of the like biome where they might not come out to looking like this. And I am far too lazy to bother with actually making any form of like pre self-made version of that. That's just going to not look nice in my opinion. And yeah, there's just this giant gorge between our two uh, biomes. But as you can see, that dun 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 is the bridge I worked on as well. And I honestly really like how it came together. I made it out of mostly granite just because I wanted it to not blend in with the walls and such. And just to feel different but yet still natural. I also used mangrove wood just to give it a bit more pop, just so it stands out a bit more. And uh, I do plan to eventually cut that tree down and get something like that or one of those. But yeah, there was just dirt mound here and I eventually just cleared it all away and yeah, it looks pretty darn great. I honestly really like how it came together. I might build out in the future a path just on like paved dirt. Not full on brick. I'm not that much of a masochist to go mining for decades. And I'm going to need a majority of brick for this giant ass wall. Which at parts of it I think maybe like these like diagonal parts. I'm thinking or I'm going to actually add like sort of a roof area. Like a sheltered spot. Just so you know in theory if you got rained down by arrows you're not completely fucked. I also might add a couple, like, guard towers that they can access. Maybe, depending. Possibly, if I feel like it. Yada yada. You get the general idea. But the best view, in my opinion, and I think I'll probably use it as a thumbnail, is just this at night. And the torches glowing and... Ah, uh, it is just something else. It is something else indeed. But I kind of been passing by uh, the people... The people, indeed. Alright. Fair enough. Well. Uh, Alright, five more minutes, then it's back to work. Alright, the food was something else. Far, so far, being prisoned is not so bad. Well, I don't care. You've gone soft, fool. Someday I will escape and you will see. Someone's feeling overconfident. The only fool here is you. Even if you escape, there is nowhere to go. Okay, then. I mean, they're not. she's not wrong. That's kind of a depressing thought. Oh, Neko, what are you doing? She seems to be mumbling to herself. Wow, I never thought I would see the day you took charge. Wow, well, I guess... I guess it's very weird for her to see her brother in a uh, position... Of authority. Oh, who knows? Maybe it's good for him. Does some good things for the fellow. Bill makes the best food in town, no doubt in my mind. Fair enough, but never say that out loud if you ever want to have a girlfriend. But uh, yeah, there's still some things around in this area I'm going to need to deal with. Like, for example, I'm gonna. This is just a framework I've built for the towers. Again, it might change in between episodes just because it's tedious and I don't know I might get around to this quickly I might take my sweet time but I'll probably continue building the wall out just because it's relatively grindy stuff and it doesn't really take me too much effort to do that plus there is some areas I'm just gonna have to get around to doing sooner rather than later I really should fill this in it's like a giant hole and uh, yeah the idea is eventually it will come around here and across here 
And eventually, uh, I'm going to have to make some form of tower or something in this area over there. Just to fill it out, keep it from, you know, becoming problematic, I guess. Otherwise, it won't look quite natural, so I'll have to build somewhat into the water. Which is a weird, weird thing to say. But, who knows? Again, this is just a work in project. Eh, work in progress. Work in project. Gotta love the good English. All the good English. But, yeah. And since it's dark out, I actually can show you... Uh, some places just look better in the dark. I don't know why. Again, in future, I think it will look even better. But let us go real quick. Quickly and fast to go and see what the mine looks like at night to demonstrate its prettiness or just the ominous and just the feeling the vibe is i enjoy it okay but yeah that just works for me and i don't know why and uh yeah so sadly though i do believe that is as much time as we do have for today next episode uh, i'm gonna be working more on the wall getting some of that done and uh maybe i'll sneak out to go see the pillager tower who knows possibly if i'm feeling adventurous not really sure but if you like this episode please again like it and uh, subscribe i try if i fail as of late to put up a video every week and uh yeah with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye